What's up, guys? Y'all ever seen that movie Groundhog Day? It's with like Bill Murray, and like every morning he wakes up, the day keeps like repeating itself, and it's just over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I feel like that's where we're at right now. Like. I feel like it's always freaking Groundhog Day. Guess where we're at? Corvette. Still waiting on the part to finish the steering, but everything up front is done, and I have to change out the gas tank. So I thought I'd film that, and hopefully, maybe the part for the steering thing will come. I mean, I overnighted it uh, a week and a half ago. Yes, overnighted it a week and a half ago. Uh, so maybe it'll come today. Um, or this week, or next month, or some point. But I need this car off my lift uh, because I got the Cutlass. The Cutlass need, we need to get that car running, we need to see what it needs, we need to start working on it. And this car is supposed to be in a, get a top, a new top put on and interior done like, I don't know, two weeks ago? Um, I think my interior guy probably doesn't, is probably, you know, tired of getting my phone calls like, hey, it's coming soon? So, Maybe this week, but I do promise you, this is the last video you're going to see on this car for a little while because it's got to go to the interior shop, whether I burn the car to the ground or not. Um, the Cutlass is, we're starting that car next week. I don't care. If I got to roll this thing to the road with no steering wheel, I will do it or I will do the Cutlass in the middle of the street. I don't care. I want to break from this car. So anyways, stay tuned. Maybe you learn something, maybe you won't, maybe you just see me cuss, I don't know. I'm just, it is what it is at this point. So, thanks for watching Callahan Garage, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Alright, so, I I looked online to see if there was like an actual quick tutorial of this. Um, I know how to do it, but I wanted to see if there was actually one film, so I am going to film one. So you've got these two bolts, you've got one here, one here. The straps actually go up and over the top of the tank, so what you're going to want to do is loosen this bolt this bolt so you get some play in it then you can take this whole thing off so you get the strap down and then the tank will literally just fall on your head or something like that um but let's go ahead and we'll film let's pull that out and see what happens and then we'll go from there Dead battery. Broken. <sighs> These have lifetime warranty on them, but like getting the warranty work is like fucking near possible, but I don't understand what, what it's doing. Like, <sighs> by hand.
can see, really pretty simple. I'll just pull the straps. And we're just gonna drop this tank out of there. Lower this down just a tad, because I'm not tall enough. Don't judge. All right, so the tank's out. Um, I guess we could probably pull that off just to see what it looks like inside. I've got a new one. Um, we're definitely gonna replace it. This is why I change out your gas tank, fellas, where you clean them out. This one looks like they put a rubber liner in at some point. I'm gonna look at the other one to see if that one has one. Um, it may just be what, how the tank came, but you see all the stuff. All right, so here's the new gas tank. Guys, nose aside, there is no rubber coating. And this actually looks like, like it looks newer. Now, I know the history of this car for the last 20 years. Um, so whenever that was done, um, they did a fairly good job because it still hold up for at least more than 20. Um, but like anything, it, you're still gonna replace it. All right, guys, so, clear that, I'm wearing a different shirt. It's actually a couple days later. Well, it's a couple days later. Anyway, so I don't know if you guys can see that. You probably can. But I was going to change the lines, going up to the tank, the new tank in, and uh, the, it broke off because it's rusty. So when I did that, I decided to take a break and uh, order some break, uh, order some fuel line or something like that. So. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run some new fuel line. We're gonna get all this buttoned up. I did get the piece for the uh, steering column, so we'll be able to get that done. Uh, we might have a running car at the end of this episode. I, I believe we will. So uh, I'm gonna get these fuel lines start run. I'm probably not gonna film too much of it because it's, it's just fuel lines, hose and line and fiber stupid. But I definitely will film uh, the finished product and once and I'll show you guys the steering shaft thing you had to buy to make it work. It's the whole. All right, so we'll keep you updated. All right, so this is that piece, you know, I ordered two weeks ago, uh, overnighted, and, you know, came yesterday. Basically, it's just a little small swivel point. It actually matches up with the original bracket on the inside. So basically, we'll slide this in, line it up, tighten it in there, hook it in. Should be pretty simple. I'll try to film some of it, but honestly, it's underneath the, the dash. You can't really see a whole lot in there. All right, welcome to my current dilemma. The steering shaft's gotta come back, so I don't know if you can see that, because the brake pedal is hitting the pin connector, which is what it uses to turn the car over. So I have to bring it back, probably like two inches. Of course, that's just a weird amount of space for, like I'm not even sure how I'm gonna make up, because. It's two inches. It's, let me show you. So I got, uh, so I've got one joint there. So, but I need two inches. How do I make up two inches on that? I, I'm not even sure. Like I'm the le legitimately not even sure. Um, I don't know. I'll see what I can come back with. I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. Well, you guys probably noticed I'm not in the shop right now. I am out in somebody's backyard pulling out a steering column because I cannot make that steering column work. I have lost. I give up. I can't make it work. So I just went ahead and buying one out of a wrecked car. Now, that being said, I did just buy a hard top for the car. I'll show you. I'll, I'll put it. I'll, I'll link a picture here. I'll put a picture here. After I'm done talking, but yes, there is a hard top. I just bought it because I got sick of not getting that steering shaft to work. So now I'm fighting to get this one out. And then, uh, like I said, I'll link, a, I'll show you guys a picture of that hard top here in a little bit. Check this out, guys. I, 
I always said I wanted a hard top, and I got one. You know, I don't really like the pinstriping, but who cares? You know how hard these are to find? Um, so, yeah, we got a hard top. All right, just a quick update here. The guy who I bought the column from said he would unfollow my channel if I didn't actually, like, you know, clean this column up and make it look pretty and, you know, make it usable. So I did the right thing and just spray painted it with some paint. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. Anyways, I'm going to bed. I'll catch up tomorrow. We will get this steering column in. Maybe take it for a ride. Probably not because something else will be broken or some other stupid shit. Anyway, see you All right, guys, tomorrow. what's up? Next day here. So let me show you what our issue was with our steering column. So it's really, it's the switch on the top. So if you notice here, this is on the side. So what happened is it would run into here. Uh, now, unfortunately, I've got a ton of money invested in that one. Well, not me, uh, but somebody has a ton of money invested in that one. Either way, as you know, I gave up and got this other one. But look at this thing, man. It's totally rebuilt. Just spray painted. But hey, it's going to look good. We're going to get this in today. And for some reason, I believe this car might run. Probably not. Eh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, I'll update you guys as we're going along. Well, apparently we have a fuel leak. Looks like the wire come off the distributor. But it runs. I gotta figure out what I did. <laughs> I swear it was out of gear. Fire right up. I'll hit my jack. Eh, it's just some stuff I left on there. Not a big deal. Uh, but she fired right up. Uh, yeah. Um, let's get a steering wheel on it. Right. 
Well, I failed you again. Runs, drive, brakes, work. Um, I cannot take it for a test drive this week just because I've still got to make sure the doors work. Uh, there's no latching system on them. But it's out of my shop. The next episode, I promise we're going to pull that cutlass in. We're going to take a look at that. I've got a couple other projects in line. I'm sick of this car too. Um, I need to thank Gary. Uh, you guys use the parts. He's on all the Corvette forums. He's just down the road for uh, getting us a steering column. Uh, also, my buddy Chad, uh, you were right. I should just use an original steering column instead of wasting a week on that. By the way, uh, steering column for sale. Will not fit a 75 Corvette. Something else? Maybe. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Again, I always say subscribes. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And thanks as always for watching Callahan Garage. Without you guys, we couldn't do what we do.